Today I'm going to talk about tropical fish for beginners. So for all beginners in tropical fish, um, first things first is get the biggest tank you can get for what you can afford. So at our time when I decided to get a tropical fish tank, I just went for a 64 litre and within three weeks I wanted bigger. Um, so first advice is to get the biggest tank you can afford. And obviously for tropical fish keeping, people talk about it and say they're hard work, they didn't have the time. But honestly guys, it, it is really, really easy I think. So I'm just going to run through a few things which can help you along your way. So guys, this is what a 64 litre tank will sort of look like. We purchased from the range and it came with the heater, the filter, and all the rest we had bought ourselves, like the gravel, the mothball, the live plants, and we got a couple of artificial plants. And the rock is actually not a rock, it's some sort of plastic material, which is ideal for tropical fish tanks, as some rocks can cause a lot of trouble, so I do recommend get the plastic rock for the beginning. And the lighting comes with this, and we'll just... I did just normal lighting. I had purchased the uh, Blue Moon Leon light myself online from Amazon. But as you can see, there's the lighting. Sorry how bright it is there. There's the filter. And there's a view from the top. Just a quick little view. And once I uh, filled them up, washed my gravel down cleaned everything off in. We, the, the annoying part is you've literally got to stare at a tank like that for about two weeks with no fish in it. And just be patient, don't rush things. That is my main thing I'm going to say to you, just please don't rush it because it, you know, you wait a week and a half and just for the sake of an extra three or four days it, your tank would be absolutely fine. So people do rush and create themselves multiple problems. So I'm just going to run through a few of the things I used to get the tank up and running. Um, I used a filter quick start which came with the tank so we drop a capsule of that and it just tells you everything about it all inside anyway how to do it if it focuses stuff. Yep. And we also bought Tap water conditioner, tap safe, it's all the same thing. It, it, this does uh, marina, tropical and go fish, cold water. Um, we've got a quick safe start, which is obviously with the fish, um, causes diseases with all their own sort of like waste. They can, it, you know, um, disorder bacteria. So this is like a, a boost of it all. Um, dipsticks, this is a ammonia one, pick these up from any sort of aquatics which I tend to use maidenhead. Uh, this one here is a 5 in 1 test strip and it's got all your colours on the back to let you know, same as the ammonia one which was on the back here and obviously tropical fish flake food I got one of these, which is a magnetic uh, block which can clean all your tank. And last thing guys, don't rush when you get your fish tank all up and ready. Don't go in and stick like 30 odd fish in there or anything like that. Start with like 4 neons or 4 rummy noses. Give it a couple of weeks and then add more. You know, and that way you can really see on how your filters get coming along with it and if it can manage and another thing download an app on your iPhones or any Android phones and it can help you along what fish can go with what and fish points and all that kind of stuff and it does really really help you um, I recommend getting maybe one snail two um, shrimps and just play along with that and your tank will be up and ready in no time and guys, and just keep up with your water changes, you know, every week just make a specific time and day where you're going to have 10 minutes just to do a 30% water change. And if you maintain that weekly 
and it, you, you're not going to have any problems and just look after your tank, give it deep cleans, make sure you get all the algae off your filters and obviously with your siphon make sure you're picking up all the loose stuff at the bottom on your gravel and, and that will just pour straight into your bucket. If you want to see how I do a water change just look through some previous videos, I've got a whole video on how I do my water changes. So guys, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Um, that's the best tips I can give any new beginners to tropical fish. So, take it easy guys.